40 years ago, more than a third of us lived in council houses. Now, it's less than 10%. In the 1980s, the government gave tenants the right to buy their homes, and two and a half million were sold off. Nearly all the houses in this Brighton estate are now privately owned. Bobby, let's go. Come on. Robert Burns lives in one of the few still owned by the council. His three-bedroom house costs him £107 a week. But he's not let the fact that he's a council tenant dampen his creative spirit. These are all my Renaissance paintings and they, they're dotted throughout the house. I painted them because I truly loved them. The originals are beautiful. Whether I get close to them or not, I don't really know. That's for others to say. But I'm pleased with the result. I think he's very talented. Don't you? Sometimes he's surprised just how he manages to get the picture right. And it looks as good as the original. Robert first started his grand council house project 12 years ago. It was never done to impress anybody else. It was painted probably for my own vanity, I don't know. What always has pleased me is when uh, certainly workmen come in, they're absolutely astonished by this house. I think Linda and I could probably retire if we just opened it two or three days a week. Poppy Doodle, I don't you get your hooter in here. Robert's never been to Italy, nor seen the original 15th century art he loves to copy. I discovered the Italian Renaissance by buying a book at a car boot sale in Lewis, just down the road here. I was actually blown away by it. It was the genius of them, the beauty of them. It's just astonishing. I was looking for Renaissance pictures relating, obviously, to water. There's very few of them, but these ones seem to suffice. That Latin word there means bathhouse. For 20 years, Robert worked as a painter-decorator, but back then, it was mostly just plain old magnolia. Painting and decorating, per se, is quite boring, really. I hadn't painted anything of an artistic nature at all. You know, my last art class would probably have been primary school, when you just sloshed paint all over the place. I didn't pick up a paintbrush until I was 53 years of age. If I have discovered, say, 20 or 30 years earlier, I might have had a different career. But, as I say, never look back, always look forward. Unafraid of the modern, in a spare bedroom, Robert's given the Renaissance a contemporary twist. So we've got Jose Mourinho, painted in the style of Leonardo da Vinci, the Salvador Mundi, i.e. the saviour of the world. Then we've got Wayne Rooney, painted in the style of Francesco de Zerberan, St. Francis of Assisi in meditation. And of course, there's me on the end there. Painted a few years ago. Would you like to paint them for real? Certainly I'd like to paint them for real. I'd like them to buy the ones I've already done. Any phone calls yet? No. But we live in constant hope. Whenever we sort of, for want of a better word, so you pop your clogs. It will revert to being a council house for somebody else. Whoever does move in will say, oh, well, we'll, we'll have to get this painted out. It's not everybody's taste. I always jokingly say, well, they can maybe blue placket and buy it for the nation. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred years ago, there was no such thing as council houses, and the poor were left living in slums. It wasn't until after World War II that the government began knocking down the vast slum estates and replacing them with state-owned homes. And ever since then, council houses have been providing a roof over the head of society's disadvantaged.